Hi, second grade friends. Let's sing our hello song together with Freddie. Let's sing hello together. Hello, hello, hello. Let's sing hello together. Hello, hello, hello. Y en español. Cantamos todos juntos. Hola, hola, hola. Cantamos todos juntos. Hola, hola, hola. So today, friends, we're going to be reviewing strong and weak beats and then putting those strong and weak beats into measures, which remember we talked about earlier this year in music class. So we're gonna start today by singing the song Cobbler Cobbler and showing the strong and weak beats. So can you tap the beat with me and let's sing Cobbler Cobbler. Here we go, cobbler cobbler, mend my shoe, have it done by half past two. To ra -loo, ra -loo. Now we're going to show the strong beat on our lap, but the weak beat on our shoulder. So it's going to go like this. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak. Here we go. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Have it done by half past two. To ra -loo, ra -loo. Now, friends, for this next part, you're going to need slippers or shoes, but you're only going to need one of them because remember, you're going to show the strong beat with the foot that has the shoe or the slipper and the weak beat with your bare foot or your socked foot. So I'm going to show you my slippers because I'm at home, so I'm wearing my slippers. So friends, I have one slipper on and one slipper off. So this is my strong beat. This is my weak beat. So I'm going to show you what this looks like when I do this song, just walking. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Have it done by half past two. To ra -loo, ra -loo. Now, friends, I want you to join me walking around with your one slipper or your one shoe on. And remember, the, the foot with the slipper or the shoe, that's the strong beat. And the foot without the slipper or the shoe, that's the weak beat. So let's walk around and let's sing the song together so we can get that feeling of strong and weak beats. So I'm going to start with my strong foot. So that's the one that has the slipper on. Here we go. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Have it done by half past two. To ra -loo, ra loo Sorry I can't show you my feet at the same time. There's not a very good angle where you can see my, my feet as well. So just remember to start with your strong foot with the slipper or shoe on. Try it one more time. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Have it done by half past two. To ra -loo, ra -loo. So now, friends, for the next activity, you're going to need something to write with and something to write on. So I'm going to be writing with a piece of paper and a marker. But you can write with a paper and a pencil, paper and a pen, whiteboard and a dry erase marker, whichever works for you. Pause the video grab those materials, and then join me back here for our next activity. Okay, friends, so hopefully you have your writing materials because we're going to be writing the rhythm of cobbler cobbler. So let's first tap it in our hands so we can see what the rhythm's going to be. Cobbler cobbler, mend my shoe. Have it done by half past two. To ra -loo, ra -loo. So let's just do the first part because that's the first part we're going to write. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. So that would be T, 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 Ta. So let's write that. T, 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 Ta. So then the next part of the song, let's tap it in our hands and sing it. Have it done by half past two. 
So what would that be? T T T T T T T A. Ooh, that's the same. So now let's write that part. Now, when you're writing it, please make sure you leave a little bit of space above it or else you won't have room for what we're going to add in later. So, have it done by half past two, just the same as we did for the last one. Okay, now for the last part, let's sing it and tap it. To ra lu ra lu. Ooh, there's a rest at the end. Let's say it with Titi and Ta now. T, 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 Ta. So let's write that. T, 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 Ta. Now when you're writing the rest, I'm going to write this over here. You don't have to write this part. I'm just going to show you how you can write rests. You can do it with a Z or you can do a Z with a C if you want the more fancy rest. So I'm going to do the Z with the C. Now friends, we're going to put the strong and the weak beats. So when you're putting a strong beat, you're going to put this little mark right here. So we have strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak. Now we need to put the notes in their rooms or the measures. Strong, weak, measure line, strong, weak, measure line, strong, weak, measure line, strong, weak, measure line, strong, weak, line, strong, weak. Now for the end, we're going to write two lines to show the end of the song. Now, since in each measure we have one, two beats, at the beginning of the song, you're going to write two over a heart to show that in each measure of the song, there are two beats in each measure. So now what I'd like you to do, friends, is to write your own song with strong and weak beats. And it can be whatever you would like. It can have ta, tt, rest, tika tika. Just make sure that you write in the lines, the two lines at the end, and the two over the heart at the beginning. And I want you to make it the same length as the song that we wrote, which was one, two, three, four, five, six measures. So that's the only rule. Just make it six measures, just like Cobbler Cobbler. Here's an example of a song. And then if you want to share your song with me, have your parents take a picture of it and they can send it to me in an email or they can send it to me on a, the Remind app if they're able to. And I would love to see the songs that you created. So have fun with that. And that's it for today, friends. I hope you had fun getting to practice strong and weak beats. And we'll see you next time, friends. Hasta la próxima vez, amigos.